Hello. I'm going to be showing you how to tie your last knot on your Hakama. A lot of people wear these as soon as they start to feel important in Aikido. Um, just like belts. Whether somebody wears a Hakama doesn't matter at all. But tying your Hakama in a traditional way and working with it is, is good to know. So I'm going to show you how to do a traditional bow on your Hakama so that you can have any Hakama and make a nice pretty flower in front. Okay, let's do it. So I've already done my front, come around and all that. So now I'm going to do my back flap. So as I do that, I'm going to tuck down underneath everything. This is how I do it, by the way. I'm not going to say this is right or wrong. Uh, this is how everybody, this is partly how some people do it. This hakama is made from uh, cotton. Uh, maybe some polyester weave, maybe 50-50, I don't know. They have ones that are more thick. And, uh, this one I don't press or do anything to, but they have some that the pleats never go out. Anyway, so now I've tucked in, brought my flap up, and I've tucked here. Now I'm coming forward with this. So as I come forward with this, I'm gonna, I'm, I've already tied a knot out of my first down and over. And what I like to do is let this string hang down because it makes the bow look complete once I get done. So I'll show you. So, so here we go. I, I, I do a, uh, a uh, regular crossover knot, right? Just a simple tying my shoes, right? So this is one. Now the previous knot underneath that's holding all this together. This one's just a, this one is just ornamentary. So you want to make these these look pretty, right? So you don't want to make them look like you just tied your shoes or something like this. Just like oh, I'm just tying my shoes. No, it's not like that. So <clears throat> first, I'm gonna make a knot. This one go tight, and then this one stop it from moving. So you just made a square knot basically. Then I take the right side. And then I begin to fold it in half. First one half, then another half, until I have a piece that looks like a little square. Okay, then I put the square right here over all the knots. Then I take this and I make it flat. Right? I make that flat, and then I start to go around that knot. And I just grab everything, all the meat of everything, and I just go right around it. And I keep the knot flat. I keep the string flat as I do this. Okay. So I'm going to go, uh, I usually go twice. You'll find out how many you need to do in your Hakama. So I go down with the last one now with my thumb down here. And I stop. Then when I get to that point, I stop because now I'm going to finish my bow. And then I'm going to go like this. And tuck the, you just tuck the top part back in. And then it's done. Uh, and then everybody will go, how in the heck did you do that? It made a little flower out of your uh, out of your hakama there, almost like O Sensei used to do. It looks really neat if you can, you know, don't spend too much time on it and sometimes they come unfurled, but I've gotten pretty good at keeping this, uh, I've gotten pretty good at tying knots and uh, tying knots and stuff, it's part of, uh, some of the art is binding. We, we learn how to bind people in a peaceful manner, almost like the police. The military and Japanese police used to use uh, binding and stuff like that in ancient uh, times. <coughs> so, knot tying is very important. It's part of the mental process I'm getting ready to train. All right. So, if you make clean knots, if you if you take care of your gait, it shows mental awareness for yourself. I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you come in with your gait all stained and whatever. I don't care. Uh, because I'm working on me, and I'm going to let you be you, alright? Does that, that sound fair? Alright, 